In this section, we will be integrating PayPal with our e-commerce website so that users can use their credit cards or PayPal accounts to make the payment to purchase the products. First of all, I'll click on Add New and I will look for PayPal WooCommerce plugin. I co I'll come across a lot of options. However, I'll select this first one. As I can see, it has 8,000 plus active installs and good amount of ratings as well. There are, there are few more plugins, but they don't have a very great ratings. So I'll ignore those. I'll click on install now and I'll wait for the plugin to be installed. Once the plugin is installed, I can activate it. As soon as you activate the plugin, you'll see a small notice and you can just close it there. Now, here in my WooCommerce tab, I'm able to see PayPal by payment plugin option enabled here by default. Next, I'll click on the settings tab. Production will be the environment. We can also select sandbox as an environment as well. The difference between production and sandbox is sandbox is mainly used for testing purposes, whereas production is used to start accepting live payments. Click to connect. So we can simply click to connect here. I'm assuming you already have a PayPal account and uh, you, you will be redirected and asked to log in into that account. Okay, I'll enter my existing email ID. And I'll select my location. It is asking me for some more information. I think I require to go back and redo the process. Let me do it in production. I'll just click here to connect again. It is asking my email ID and location. I'll just click on next. I'll just now it has redirected me to the login page. So I already have an account and in the previous step, it was asking me to create a new account. That's why we restarted this process. Once you sign in, it will ask you to grant permission to the website. Once you do that, your PayPal connection is automatically done. Your production client ID, your production C, serial key, etc. Everything has been automatically set up here. Now let's test our integration. Let me just go to the main website here. Let me click on everything, which will take me to the all product stores. Let me click on this black hoodie. I'll click on add to cart. I'll just click on view cart. Okay, we have got two products added. The sum comes to $300. I'll click on checkout. 
Now I've got uh, my information pre-filled here. Now here we can see we've got three options that are there. Direct bank transfer. Okay. And if I select that, it gives the instructions that we have posted there. Check payments. It again gives us the instructions which we have posted in the page. And third is cash on delivery. Okay. We are not seeing the PayPal option. We will examine that. But first, let me just place the order with the cash on delivery. And we can see that all those three payment methods are working quite as expected. Let's just go back here. We can see that uh, uh, the PayPal has been integrated. Let me go to the settings tab and payments and here we can see that I have yet I have yet not enabled this option here. So now I am enabling this option. And I will go back to save changes. Now I don't think there should be an issue in making the payment via PayPal. Let me select this blue denim shorts in this case. Let me click on add to cart. Okay, I'll go to view cart. Check out. And here we can see the PayPal option coming out here. Click the PayPal button below to proceed. So I'll click here. It will open the PayPal website. And it says you are logging into the account of the seller of this purchase please change your information and try again so basically i'm already logged in here in paypal so let me just uh, go to an incognito window and uh, select that option again so here again i'll select women i'll click on one of the options I like the black one. I'll add to cart. Click on view cart, check out. And here I'll select the PayPal option. And it will ask me to log into my PayPal account to make the payment. Or I can also select pay with debit or credit card. And in this manner, I will be able to complete my purchase. With this, we conclude the payment gateway section of this course. See you in the next section.